Goats, often kept as pets and just as often as army mascots, are bred on a farm at stretton on dunsmore Warwickshire, probably the only farm of its kind in Britain. But goat farmer Gilbert Harris is not in the mascot business. Instead, he has built up a thriving trade in goat's milk and yoghurt for hospitals, clinics and health food shops all over the country. The milk, all 19,000 gallons of it a year, comes from a herd of goats specially bred to suit Gilbert's requirements. His present herd, over 200 strong, resulted from crossing an old English billy with a Welsh hill nanny and adding a strain of Swiss Toggenberg. The new breed, dappled black, brown and white, produces a gallon of milk a day with a high butterfat content. Gilbert, who claims that goats have a high intelligence among animals, markets their healthful milk and yoghurt for a living. But he is now more interested in breeding this comparatively rare animal. By his careful selection, his new breed of goat needs no more than a third of an acre of the roughest land and concentrated food costing only 10 pounds a year. Yoghurt is made by adding two separate strains of bacteria to three gallon jars of milk at a temperature of 126 degrees. The bacteria are also cultivated on the farm and exported as a sideline to 22 different countries. The yoghurt, prepared to a continental recipe, is beneficial in many types of sickness, particularly when people are allergic to cow's milk. Anyway, says the goat farmer, goat's milk is much better for you than cow's. Mrs. Harris bottle feeds the kids, these are only a day old, so that they'll be used to being handled by people and not give trouble later when they're old enough to be milked. Easy to feed, anything almost from thistles to hay, they're easy going too. It's almost impossible they found on this unusual farm to get a goat's goat. Goat's goat.